Hi there, this is Mega Supreme here with a special Transformers toy review. And this time we'll have a look at a masterpiece Optimus Prime Year of the Horse. Um, so, as you guys um, who are on the YouTube channel, and not YouTube channel, the Facebook group, you've seen I managed to pick this guy up uh, from Toys R Us uh, the other day and um, showed you some of the packaging and stuff on him. He's uh, really very impressive. Um, if you guys haven't noticed from the initial pictures, the red on him is like a ch almost like a cherry red, like a cherry coke red, if that makes sense. So um, it, you know, up against the other one, you can see he's this is the the uh, little legends one that I picked up. You can see this one's kind of more of a G one sort of colour, and this is really like a real dark cherry red with the gold bits on here. Um, I'll, what I'll do is I'll just run you through the figure first of all um, and you know all the articulation bits and pieces I know a few people were saying you know um, should we get this one if I've already got one of the uh, the masterpiece Optimus Primes or not um, I'll just show you and see what you think so he's got um, as far as um, all the detail on him you've got a gold autobot symbol here which is raised and on the other, other side here this one isn't raised uh, one half of it is an autobot symbol. The other sign is the year of the year of the horse. Um, gold stacks here, which is nice. Um, gold plated uh, gold here as well. And you've got the normal bits where you open up the um, open this up in here, and you'll get the matrix. So you pop this out. This is all gold again. So you pull this up here and again here. And I find this one a tad tricky to pull up. I don't know if that's the same all of them or not. So I managed to get my fingers in there and you've got the matrix in here. If I take this out maybe if I've read the instructions maybe there is a lot easier way of taking this out and picking at it with your nails. There you go. So you can see that it's nice and shiny. This is all um, die cast and uh, the matrix like sparkles the inside bit. This is all kind of translucent got plastic in here. So I'll leave that to one side for now. Close this all up. So it closes up nice nicely together on here. Um, it's got a really good head sculpt. So it's got the navy on him is quite a dark navy with bright blue eyes. And articulation's all the same. You move it round up and down. And you've even got articulation on, on the ears here, so I'm not sure if that's a new thing. Um, on the arms. This goes all the way around. You can obviously uh, pull this bit out as well if you want to. So you've got further articulation there. This um, bends around here. So you've got articulation there, here, bend here as well as the swivel there. The fists, the sorry, uh, the um, fists, the arms here. Um, there you go, so that moves around. The thumb doesn't move. You've got the uh, three fingers here that move in towards each other and just the, the one trigger figure here which has got a little bit more articulation so you've got a bend um, at the kind of first knuckle and then again here and then you can put the blaster in here. At the back here you've got some more gold bits on here and here and then to where you open up and you take out his blaster so that closes up nicely. This then uh, folds out like here, and then was the ah, there we go. So it's the last kind of like a goldy brown sort of colour. That's pretty decent. I put his axe on here so that just slots on nicely onto his hand when his fists out like this. 
so you can pop that on. You don't need to pop away his hand or anything. You've got articulation at the waist here. The knee here. Swivel there. Uh, not here, it looks like it should be. And then at the feet here, you've got a swivel here. And you can bend this forward and back. And then this also moves as well, as do the heels. So you can get some you know, really uh, good poses out of him. Uh, stability's not an issue at all. Uh, he stands up really well. Um, you know, I love this figure in Robot Mode. He looks absolutely brilliant. He does come, as well as uh, with these accessories, with his uh, truck. So this is completely uh, see-through. You've got a red and gold Autobot symbol on the sign here, side there. Uh, these bits pulled in there as well. They're also a little bit sparkly as well. These bits come out here and you can push these bits back in as well. Um, nice rubber wheels as well on the back here. You've got the Autobot symbol with the uh, year of the horse and then the same on the other side. I must let you guys know, until you get this in hand and look at the look at it like this, the um, my camera doesn't really uh, do it justice, but it really is awesome. And uh, you can open this, this up. It's probably the same as the other Masterpiece ones. You just get your fingers in there. Open this up like that. You can see inside there. You can then pull this bit out here. So you've got a ramp which uh, other Masterpiece figures can go down. Open this up. And it does actually come packaged with the... Um, with these axe in here and then the gun on the other side. So they actually fit nicely into there and there's little slots where grooves where you can pop those in. Uh, this guy here, he comes out, he, this bit doesn't shoot any missiles but you can open the cockpit in here and you know this bit kind of operates as, it, as you would expect. Uh, there's little slots on here which you can fold in so you, then you can then have this um, outside of the uh, actual truck itself and then it shows on the back here uh, Optimus like this kind of standing in here so you can do that if you want to but um, yeah I'm not a big, big fan of doing it that way um, what I'll do now I've just got to run through I've run through the figure and the um, like kind of truck base mode and I'll get them transformed into truck and see what you guys think okay cheers right okay so to get them transformed the first thing you need to do is take off any accessories like uh, this from his hands and move that back around the first thing you want to do is bring his arm up here and pull these bits down like that and do the same on the other side this bit down. Just want to get your nail in there and pull it down and then you want to move the arm towards you so you want to have the fist uh, clenched. Move it towards you or the other way sorry and then close that down. Same on the other side like that and pop it down like that and Ah, uh, yeah, and then in the instructions it shows you putting in like this and like that. Same on the other side, like that. So, at that point, I'll pull those bits out as well. Uh, next bit it shows you doing is kind of straightening up his legs here, like this. And let's remember, ah, uh, yeah, so it shows you pulling this bit out and then folding it back around to the inside of his leg. Like that, and the same again, like that, and then round to the inside of his leg and click that bit in. And then I think it shows you putting these bits together like that from memory, I'm guessing. And then I think you want to swivel this bit around and then. Plug these legs together like so, 
and push them in. Ah, I nearly forgot. As you push it in, you want to press these bits in like that. So it might be do it one at a time if you want. So you press this bit in here and then push it in and then put them together like that. And then you've got this bit on the side here, so you want to um, kind of move these bits out slightly. And then this bit here that's covered the wheels, you want to bring that in and tuck it so it's underneath. And then same on the other side, move this bit out of the way. And like that. And then later on you'll move these forward, so, but for now you can just move them back so they're out of the way. Um, let me think. Ah, uh, yeah. So now you open up his chest like so. Uh, you pull these bits up. I think. Yeah, my. Uh, yeah. fingers in there. Okay, push that forward like that and put this head round. I can't remember what I need to do here. I think you pull these bits out like that. bits down here. I'm trying to remember what to do with this. Ah yeah, so this this front piece then pulls forward. Okay. Right, so I can leave that for now. Then what I probably need to do is sort out these bits here. So if I swivel this right back round to the front, like so. And then what you can do, it's probably best actually to pull these bits out first of all and have them facing forward. Actually, I think in the instructions it has them facing out that way. And the same on the other side. Pull these bits out here, like that. And then move them around like that. Optimus should be then plugged in down at the bottom here. So the blue bit here just plugs into the, this chest piece here, and then you can move this bit forward. You pull that bit out at the same time. So this bit's down out of the way. Fold his head in, like so. Fold these cab pieces in, like that, out of the way. Um, and then probably what the best thing to do then is fold these arm bits in here at the back. Fold this bit forward at the same time. And it'll tuck in underneath here. Plug it in here like that. So then you're starting to get the front of it. Do the same on the other side. And we're nearly done. So plug that in and push this bit in across. See, this is only the second time I've transformed him, but um, saying that, it's still, you know, fairly um, easy to follow through and do the instructions. And then this bit here, you want to um, move this up here like that, and tuck the lights in like that. Do the same on the other side, bring the lights in, push everything together, tuck it in, and do the same with the front of the vehicle, and then pull these bits down so you've got the smokestacks, 
and then last bit you just pull this across and there's a little tab and that will plug into there like that and then same on the other side that should plug into there like that and then you've got him in his vehicle mode so you can see everything comes together you know really nicely there's no like big gaps oh the other thing I forgot is you can put like these little um, mirrors on the side there and that's it um, he uh, rolls really nice and just turn these off a second um, yeah he rolls really nice colours on brilliant it looks absolutely awesome and if I just put him with his truck so you can see what he looked like with that so I plug all of this in Fold this back back in here like that. Close this together. Oh yeah, I'll show you where the where everything goes in here. Let me just move this up for you a second so you can see where it all goes. The gun kind of pops in this bit here and it kind of goes upside down from what I can see. It doesn't hold in brilliantly. Um, but the axe on the other side, there's a little plug-in point for that. So you plug it in here. And you just want to line up the spikes properly, I think. Got it in there like that. And then once you're done, fold it in towards each other like that. Pop it down and fold in the bits at the bottom here. And these bits onto the side, and then you've got a little two little tabs here which fit in at the bottom of here. So that tucks it nicely, and there he is in that truck bed. And what you can say, apart from he looks absolutely brilliant. Um, as well, should you pick him up if you've got another one? I'm not sure. Um, depends how much you love Optimus Prime. I think I really like this colour. I actually prefer it to the, um, the original MP colours. Um, but as a collector's piece, I think it's brilliant with the gold. You've got the Year of the Horse and everything, and the old C3 trailer. Um, things it could do, improvements could be made on it. You could. Um, you could have had the Megatron gun with it, you could have had, you know, spike, spark plug, go with it. The guns in, guns in here, the, the little um, robot thing, could fire missiles as it normally does. Um, that would have been nice. Um, you haven't got roller with it, um, that's another thing. So you kind of have to weigh all these things up really. But... Um, if you haven't got a Masterpiece Prime, definitely pick one up. Um, if you have, you have to weigh it up really. It's quite expensive. It might be worth hanging around just to see if it goes down in price. Although uh, it may go down to 100, but I doubt it will go any, down um, any further than that. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Cheers guys. Bye.